dear students in this module we'll be focusing on the present demographic and the development picture of the world population is the central theme for socio economic development any social development and change is partially dependent on economic development and and other aspects often used indicators for the data of the revised estimates of 2007 world population projects prospects is presented and briefly discussed here the estimated world's population and its regional estimates for selected years are presented in table 1 according to the estimates the world's population is around 2.5 in the year 1950 and it increased to 7.6 billion in the year 2017 approximately the world has added about a billion people in the last 12 years the world's population as in 2017 which is 7.6 billion is expected to reach about 8.6 billion by 2030 to 9.8 billion by 2050 and to 11.2 billion by 2100 therefore the additions of population are phenomenal during the 21st century which was started population growth increasing in the second half of 20th century the additions of the population are not the same when regional population estimates are examined the population of africa for instance which was only 229 millions in 1950 is expected to increase to 1.3 billion by 2017 to 1.7 billion by 2030 to 2.5 billion by 2050 and to 4.5 billion by 2100 in the case of asia region the population of asia which was 1.4 billion in 1950 is expected to increase to 4.5 billion by 2017 to 4.9 billion by 2030 to 5.2 billion by 2050 and it would increase to 4.9 billion by 2100 the population of europe which was 549 millions in 1950 has increased to 742 millions in 2017 and is further expected to 739 million by 2030 715 million by 2050 and to 653 million by 2100 the population of latin america and caribbean have increased from 169 million in 1950 to 646 million by 2017 and it would increase therefore to 7.18 million by 2030 to 780 million by 2050 and it would increase further to reduce to 712 million by 2100 the population of north america has increased from 173 million in 1950 to 361 million by 2017 and would increase thereof to 395 million by 2030 and would decrease to 435 million by 2050 and to 499 million by 2100 the population of oceania has increased from 13 million in 1950 to 41 million in 2017 and is expected to increase to 48 million in 2030 further to 57 million in 2015 and to 72 million by 2100 thus although the world's population as a whole is expected to increase from 1950 to 2100 the regional population growth pattern is different while population is expected to grow from 1950 to 2100 in africa north america and oceania the population start declining in europe during the period 1917 to 30 in asia and in latin america and caribbean during the period 2050 to 2100 the table 1 clearly depicts the population of the world and regions for years 1950 2017 2030 2050 and 2100 according to medium variant projections in th- presented in thousands so far the population growth in absolute numbers has been described to make the population increase more meaningful the arithmetical annual population growth rates for the period under consideration have been presented in table 
The world's population is estimated to be annually growing at 2.95 percent during 1950 to 2017. It is expected to grow at 1.02 percent during 2017 to 2030, and 0.7 percent during 2030 to 2050, and 0.29 percent during 2050 to 2100. That means, although The population of the world as a whole is growing in absolute terms. The percentage growth rates are declining from 1950 to 2100. A similar trend is shown for Africa, Latin America, and Caribbean, and in Oceania. In the rest of the regions, the population growth have shown a declining trend at some at certain point of time during the period 1950 to 2100. While population growth rates in Europe are expected to decline. During the period 2017 to 2030, it is expected to decline in Asia and Latin America and Caribbean during 2050 to 2100. And the table two depicts the percentage annual arithmetic population growth rates of the world and regions for the respective periods according to median variant projections. Because of variation in the regional population growth from 1950 to 2100. The regional composition of population is also expected to significantly change. The percentage distribution of population by regions is presented in Table Three. About 55% of the total world's population lived in Asia, followed by 21.66 lived in Europe, 9.02% lived in Africa, 6.81% lived in North America, 6.66% lived in Latin America and Caribbean. And 0.50 percent lived in Oceania. The population composition in 1950 is expected to substantially change because of the change in population growth rates over the period 1950 to 2100. By 2100, the Asian population composition is expected to decrease from 55.36 percent in 1950 to 42.74 percent in 2100. A similar trend is expected. In Europe and North America also, but the population composition in Africa is expected to increase from 9.02 percent in 1950 to 39.94 percent in 2100. The population concentration in Latin America and Caribbean and Oceania is not expected to show any change. The table three, the percentage distribution of world's population by regions for the years. 1950 to 2100, according to median variant projections, are shown. Let us discuss about the composition of land area and population density. Population concentration is an indicator of population pressure on land. Population density is a measure of population concentration. It is calculated by dividing total population of the area in the numerator and the total land area in the denominator. It is a very crude measure of population concentration. As the land areas across the regions change in their actual area suitable for living, the total land area of a region may have some part of land areas like forest land, desert, mountains, and land covered with snow, which is not suitable for living. Population concentration increases because of migration to areas where there is a development. The percentage distribution of land area and density of population per square kilometer is presented in Table Four. About 33% of the land area is in Asia, followed by 22.4% of land area in Africa, 18.0% of land area in North America, 13.3% land area in Latin America and Caribbean, and 7.5% land area in Europe and 5.7% land area in Oceania. On an average, 56 persons are living per one square kilometer in the world. The population concentration is higher in Asia, that is 101 persons per One square kilometer, followed by Europe, 73 percent; Africa, 42 percent; Latin America and Caribbean, 36 percent; North America, 15 percent; and Oceania, 5 percent per one square kilometer. Thus, Europe is only region having very small land, and compared to the high population concentration, on the other hand, Asia has the highest land area and population concentration when compared to other regions. It's obvious that the population concentration increases. With the population growth, the table two depicts the regional distribution of world land area and the density of population per square kilometer in 2017. Let's discuss about sex composition of population and its relation with the development. 
The important dimension of population is the sex composition of population. The population dynamics depend upon the female composition of population as they form the important contributors to the marriage, fertility, mortality and migration. The age at marriage of females influences fertility and child mortality, maternal mortality or mortality related to birth of child which is specific to married females but relatively female mortality will be lower than male mortality at older ages. Females usually migrate to other their husband's residence after marriage what is called as marriage migration. The number of females to males increases because of mortality decrease in developed and other countries. The distribution of population by sex and sex ratio there is a number of females per thousand males by regions of the world is presented in table 5. The ideal sex composition balanced one with the equal number of males and females. There are about 982 females for every thousand males in the world as a whole. The sex ratio is far low in Asia where uh, there are 954 females per thousand males. This lower number of females than males in Asia is because of high mortality in the reproductive ages of 15 to 44 and high infant, child and adult mortality among females. The sex ratio of 999 females per thousand males is balanced as is noticed in Oceania. The sex ratios are higher in other regions as there are more number of females than males in each region. Among the regions, it is highly favorable to females is in Europe with 1070 females per thousand males. This regional distribution of world population by sex and uh, in 2017 according to median variant projections are presented in table 5. Let us discuss about age composition of population and development. Age composition of population which is very important dimension of population. It influences marriage, fertility, mortality, migration, health, microeconomic and utilization of infrastructure facilities of population. Age distribution is substantially altered because of fertility decrease rather than mortality decrease. Percentage distribution of population by broad age group which is presented in table 6 table and it shows age structure becomes older with the decreasing fertility and development. development. In general between 45 to 49 percent of the total world population is in the age group of 25 to 59 in all regions except in Africa. This is because of low death rates and decreasing or low birth rates in these regions. The decreasing death and birth rates are making the age structure older. Therefore, one will find low percentages in the age group 0 to 14 and high percentage in older age groups. The percentage of population in the age group 0 to 14 is the highest in Africa as it stands at 41 percent. This is because many countries in Africa are still going through high fertility and rapid population growth. This is a demographic situation calling for more investment in social development like education and facilities like health facilities particularly for newborns, children, adults and women. The percentage of population in the age group 60 and above that is between 12 and 25 in other regions except in Africa. This is another characteristics of development that is in this demographic scenario calls for special programs for elderly, healthcare, social security, old age homes and the like. This is the major demographic issue that is being faced by many countries in either developed or developing. The percentage of population in the age group 60 and above is the lowest at 5 percent in Africa and that has been presented region wise in the table 6 how the different age groups percentage share of the total population. Let us discuss about fertility levels and development. The world is experiencing fertility transition and the onset of fertility transition varies across regions. Therefore, the percentage of fertility decline varies. For instance, keeping this in the background, regional variation fertility declines has to be noted. Estimated total fertility rates by the regions of the world are presented in table 7. The total fertility which is a fertility indicator adjusted for age variations in fertility performance of women is also important to note. It gives total number of children a woman would have at the end of her fertility period if she goes through a given schedule of a specific fertility. Fertility transition and development would go together in all regions. The estimated total fertility rate of 3.87 children per woman in 1975 to 80 in the world as a whole and it has steadily declined to 1.97 by 2100. Fertility is the highest in Africa 6.64 children per woman followed by Latin America and Caribbean 4.48 children, Asia 4.10 children, Oceania 2.73 children, 
Europe 1.98 children and North America 1.77 children per woman as in 1975 to 80. Thus the fertility transition might not have started in Africa in 75-80. The fertility transition might have been gathering movement in Asia and Latin America and Caribbean in 1975 to 80 onwards. The fertility transition might have been initiated well before 1975 to 80 in Oceania. The fertility transition might have been in the final stages in Europe and North America. It can also be observed for the from the estimates that the fertility seems to be declining in all regions as varying degrees of speed. It is expected to reach jo uh, just replacement level of fertility that is 2.1 children per woman in all regions except in Africa. All regions would achieve below replacement level fertility by 2100 except in African region. Africa would reach, uh, achieve just replacement level of fertility by 2100. And the table 7 depicts total fertility rate by regions of the world for selected periods by using medium variant projections. Let us discuss about mortality transition and development. Mortality transition has been observed in all regions prior to 1990 because of eradication of communicable diseases, widespread immunization and utilization of modern health facilities, life expectancy at birth which is a single measure of mortality after accounting age variation in mortality is presented in table 8. Life expectation at birth is usually presented for males and females separately, but combined measure of life expectancy at birth for males and females is presented in the table. The life expectancy at birth which is about 65 years in the world as a whole in 1990 to 95. The life expectancy at birth varies from region to region. It is the highest in North America that is 75.9 years followed closely by Oceania 73 years, Europe 72.7 years. Latin America and Caribbean 68.4 years, Asia 65.2 years and Africa 51.7 years. Life expectancy at birth is gaining steadily in all the regions of the world. It is expected that people would live beyond 80 years even in Europe, Latin America and Caribbean, North America and Oceania, beyond 75 years in Asia and beyond 70 years in Africa by 2015. The under 5 mortality which is expected is also equal to the probability of dying between birth and child birth, fifth birthday is also an important indicator of development and child's well-being. It has a major impact on the life expectancy at birth. The life expectancy will be higher when under 5 mortality is low. The under 5 mortality rates have been presented in table 9 for various regions of the world. It is observed that under 5 mortality is about 91 deaths per thousand live births in the world as a whole in 1995-90 to 95 and is expected to decline to as low as 22 deaths in 2045 to 50 to as low as 10 deaths in 2095 to 2100. And the statistics on under 5 mortality across different regions also indicates clearly how the different regions have shown their performance. The table 9 under 5 mortality is presented across different regions. Let us talk about migration and development. The net migrants by region is presented in the table 10. Net migrants is derived from the average annual number of immigrants minus the number of immigrants over the preceding 5 year period or the subsequent 5 year period. A negative number means that there are more immigrants than immigrants and while Africa, Asia and Latin America and Caribbean countries are losing population due to immigration. Europe, North America and Oceania are gaining population due to immigration. This migration pattern is due to population growth and development. The low population growth is unable to generate required number of workers to support the industrial and other activities of the developed countries like in Europe, North America and Oceania. On the other hand, industrial development is unable to generate sufficient number of employment opportunities to observe the large number of workers entering into labor, labor force because of high population growth. This has created excess educated and skilled unemployed youth available for work in Africa, Asia and Latin America and Caribbean. These excess workers are immigrating to Europe, North America and Oceania. The relation between urbanization and development is also another area which we need to understand. The Population Reference Bureau released data on global urbanization by continent way back in 2016. The statistics in table 10 shows the percentage of total population living in areas that are defined as cities in the countries respectively. 
Some countries counted settlements with 100 houses or more as urban, while others only included the capital of a country or provincial capitals in their count. Urbanization and the percentage of urban population also as important indicators of development. The primary sectors, that is agriculture and related sectors, contribution to national income will decline with increase in the urbanization. The secondary and tertiary sectors contribution on the other hand to national in income increases with increase in urban population. The growth in primary sector is generally considered to be stagnant or very low, generating meager or minimal employment opportunities. Therefore, large number of workers entering into labor force because of high population growth will not be able to absorb the primary sector. About 54% of the total world population are living in cities in 2016. The percentage of urban population by region varies widely because of varying levels of development. For instance, about 81% of the total population in Oceania lives in cities. It is 80% in North America, followed by 74% in Europe, 49% in Asia and only 41% in Africa. Table 10 clearly depicts the percentage of urban population in 2016 and net migrants by regions of the world in 2017. In the, the way in which we need to know is also like uh, the relation between literacy and development. Literacy is uh, another important indicator of development. The literacy rates are expected to be high in developed countries and low in developing countries. There are many ways of estimating literacy rates. Among them, adult literacy rate that is aged 15 plus is the best indicator that can be used to compare across regions of the world with wide variation in socio-economic development. The adult literacy rate is about 63% in the world as a whole in 17, 1970 and increased to 82% in 2000 to 2004. The adult literacy rates are generally high in developed countries than in developing countries. The gap in adult literacy rate between developed and developing countries is very large and is about 45 percentage points in 1970 and reduced to 24 percentage points by 2000 to 2004. Region-wise, wide differences are noticed in the adult literacy rates between the period 1970-2000-2004. Let us discuss about regional gross domestic product GDP. The regional distribution of GDP in 2016 and 2010 in American dollars is presented in table 12. It can be observed that the GDP is the highest in Asia followed by North America, Europe, Latin America and Caribbean, African and Eucenia in 2010 and in 2000. But the most interesting observation is the growth in the GDP between 2010 and 2016. The GDP has increased by more than 110 percent in Asia and is the highest in all regions of the world. The next highest growth in GDP is observed to be in Africa by about 35 percent. But the GDP growth in Oceania is not consistent among the estimates. The other important is regional contribution to world's GDP. More than 65 percent of the GDP is contributed by Europe and North America in 2010, followed by Asia by about 20 percent, Latin America and Caribbean by about 6 percent, Africa by about 3 percent and Oceania by about 2 percent in 2010. The regional contribution by Asia increased phenomenally to about 36 percent in 2016. The regional contribution to the GDP by Africa, Latin America and Caribbean and Oceania has remained that same between 2010 and 2016. The per capita GDP for the years in 2010 and 16 is also presented in table 13 and it is observed that the per capita GDP has declined by about 40 percentage points between 2010 and 2016 for unknown regions. The per capita GDP in 2016 is the highest in North America, Oceania and Europe and is more than US dollars 26,000. The per capita GDP is very low in Asia and Latin America and Caribbean and it is the lowest in Africa. The growth in per capita GDP is the highest in Asia by about 100 percentage points and Africa by more 10 percentage points between 2010 and 2016. Population living in extreme poverty and development. The extreme poverty is a major issue that many countries have determined to eradicate with the national and international program. It is generally believed that apart from welfare measures, economic development will eradicate poverty by increasing level of income. The percentage of population living in extreme poverty by regions of the world for the period 1987 to 2013 as presented in table 14 indicates that extreme poverty which is defined as living with per capita household consumption below 1.90 international dollars per day 
international dollars are adjusted for inflation and for price differences across countries on an average about 35% of the population in 87 is living in extreme poverty in the world as a whole the percentage of population living in extreme poverty has declined substantially to 11% in the intervening period of 25 years from 87 to 2013 in that way overall we can conclude that world as a whole and the different regions over a period of time have depicted a specific definite trend in the levels of development and its impact is clearly seen in various demographic uh, phenomena like in the area of fertility, family planning, mortality, morbidity and migration and urbanization. That is why we need to understand that population and development across different regions are very important for us to study so that we, it will give a clear picture about how the development is impacting the population and population how in turn is influencing the development.